We're getting mad points on this hard point, boys. Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 class setup video. Today we're going to be covering the Weevil, but before I get into that guys, if you enjoy the video, be sure to drop it a like. Let's try to get 75 likes on the video and subscribe if you're new for the latest and greatest multiplayer and zombies content. Okay guys, let's get right into it. Starting it off with the Weevil, it is a submachine gun obviously. The damage is pretty low, but it does have a fairly fast rate of fire. The best thing about the Weevil is the ammo capacity it has 50 bullets standard and then if you have extended mags it has 70 which is really really good and it's unlocked at level 4 which means it's a really really good gun to use when leveling up. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best high objective class. I feel like this works really really great in the Chaos Mosh Pit playlist especially on Nukedown. So let's get right into it guys. The first attachment on the Weevil that I recommend is Grip for reduced recoil when aiming down the sights. Next is long barrel for an increased range. So if you have a little bit of recoil and farther range, it's gonna be a lot more effective, especially on Nuketown. And then the last attachment I recommend using is rapid fire for increased rate of fire. This doesn't really help too much when you're shooting at long ranges. When you do it, I just recommend tapping the um, shoot button because that's you, you wanna get like those initial critical shots by like tapping it. But if they're at close quarters, engagements you're gonna pretty much win every single gunfight it is really really good so let's get into the perks guys in perk slot one i like to use flak jacket to take less damage when from enemy explosives you know if you're playing the objective if you're capping a flag it's really going to help you out there and going to be very very effective next in perk slot two i recommend using scavenger and this works great because not only do you replenish ammo and equipment but you can also get uh, other things things like grenades and equipment i think i just said that again but it's really really good as long as you don't blow them up they're gonna drop an ammo pack and you can pick it up and get more grenades and tactical grenades so it's really really good then in purchase lot three i recommend using tactical mask so you reduce the effect of flashbang concussions and shock charges on yourself which is very very helpful especially for capping flags i feel like it's almost important that you run this perk like there's so many people that just spam flashbangs, EMPs, all that stuff, and it's really, really helpful. So, getting into it again, guys, and as far as the lethal and tactical go, I just use a normal frag and concussion. I think that that works the best. If you want to use a tomahawk, if you want to use a C4, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's really up to you, but that's just what I like to use. And then, once again, guys, you need to use primary gunfighter in order to have those three perks that I mentioned in the beginning. So, that's been the whole class setup, guys. I want to get these a little bit shorter and just keep it at like you know this size of a video it's really quick really informative and really tells you guys a great class setup to use so let me know if you guys try it down in the comment section my name is greg fps like i said let's try to get 75 likes on the video and without further ado guys peace out have a great day and i'll see you guys tonight in my live stream around 9 30 peace guys